Hi, this is Dennis. Again, we're going to make a video regarding the Super Racer. Uh, this time, we're going to talk about the new firmware upgrade from uh, 1.3 to 1.4. I've gotten many questions regarding how to actually do a color change using this new firmware. So today, we're going to show you how to do that. All right, so right after this introduction, I'm going to show you on the computer exactly what the steps are in making a two color change or a three color change, as many colors as you want. You just repeat the same steps that I'm gonna show you on the computer. So just for your information, I'm using Cura 4.13 to do all of these uh, tests on the color changes. And of course, the Super Racer. So this is the model they're gonna to use to make two colors. I'm gonna make the background one color and letters another color. So first you slice it. Then you want to enlarge the image so that you can actually see where the letters are going to begin and stop on the background. Go to preview. Then you're going to get a slider on the right hand side. You want to bring that slider down until you see the letters disappear, so to speak and then bring it back up one notch so that it's just the beginning of the letters. And remember that number eight. Then you go to extensions, post-processing, modify G-code, and we're gonna add a script. The script we're gonna add is filament change. And right under layer, put in that number eight that we just saw. Close. Now you can see that it put a little button down there in the bottom. You can click it. That'll be what we're doing. This is the current script that's open. So now we're going to slice it. And because I use Octoprint, I'm going to print it with Octoprint. And then we'll go downstairs and show you what the print is going to look like. So now that you've seen the, the video on how to do the color change in Cura, you can see that I am printing it through Octoprint. This is printing the base layer. Once it reaches the point where it wants me to do the switch, I'm gonna come back and finish the video regarding that. So if you remember, we set the first layer at eight parameters. Well, as you can see, that's been completed. So there's eight layers of the base. Now the rest of what we're gonna do is gonna be the letters. So the first thing we're gonna do is take out the, the filament. But first, notice that the temperature is remaining at 220 and 60, while the head is parked in the front, giving you plenty of room to extrude some of the additional material. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is take out this filament. I just know I just pull this in and pull it out this way. Always make sure that the filament is straight going into the extruder. And I pull it down through, put it in. Again, I hold the lever and just feed it in by hand. It's a lot quicker and you know that there's no issues and you get it all the way down to the, the hot end. Okay, so now it's all the way down there. So now what I do is go to operation, go to change, and I wanna feed some of that filament in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and you can see it's feeding in and you can see down here, some of the red is coming out. Way down here, kinda, of, you see, right there? You see it coming out, all right? Okay, so then you can just stop it once the red starts coming out. 
go back, go back again. First thing you want to do is remove this material, this excess material. Make sure there's nothing there. Then hit continue. And you'll notice that the head is moving back to its original spot. And you'll see that the letters are going to start forming in a couple of seconds here. FL Sun did a great job with this firmware, by the way. This is fantastic. And you can show that it's actually forming the letters. And you can see I got this thing cranking at 150 millimeters per second. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope this was informative, and if you really wanna see anything else, we can, uh, Kylie and I will be more than happy to make another video and explain something else that you wanna see. So anyway, that's it for Changing Color. Hope you enjoyed it, and Happy Easter. And here's the finished product.